We never okay. knock each other. The real. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, okay, okay, okay. Hey, give me, give me the, give me the open floor, man. Give me the open floor. Okay, I'm gonna say, uh, welcome to to uh, WBOK Radio. This is Charles. I want to say hello to everybody right now on the panel. We got my man Larry Yogi Weeks, and we got my homeboy. We got Tragic Mo in the house. We got Tragic Mo in the house right now. So, um, actually, what we're gonna do is actually we are on standby for uh, Sunny Caesar, which is. Uh, uh, a celebrity from uh, so celebrity rapper from the group oh. Onyx, the rap group Onyx. So we are on standby for that right now. But right right now we're just going to have some guy talk right now. So uh, these fellas are talking some serious stuff. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to open the floor to where you guys can can uh, can talk a little bit about what y'all were talking about. Uh, um, so just go ahead and go ahead and just kind of just chill and just talk. talk. Man, I let Mo <laughs> take the platform because what, what we're talking about happened it happened where he's from. So I'm gonna let Mo take the platform. We, you know, I appreciate even being being able to be a part of this platform. We, you know, we definitely appreciate you, Mr. Mitchell, and everything you do for us. And you, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, us, man. Man. But the, the, the platform I'm gonna give to Mo to talk about, like you know, especially like this being on the radio with this just have happened last night. I'm gonna get a mm -hmm. floor to Mo and like open up about like you know what I'm saying what happened last night, dog. I mean I wasn't right. there, I wasn't there either, but like you know what I mean we in the network so we hear everything, dog. Like let them know what's going on in the city right now, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean you know at this time you know every like every like every other spot people hungry, but in a particular you know what I'm saying it was it was a chain and event and one night we you know what I'm saying. And, as they call it, the Dan area, you know what I mean, um, two big, uh, well-known venues, the Fillmore out Silver Spring, and, you know what I'm saying, the Howard Theater in Washington, D.C., you know what I'm saying, uh, had, you know, some DMV artists, you know, um, coming to perform a headline, you know, both spots or whatever. And, you know, like I said, I wasn't really necessarily there, but just, you know, from everybody and knowing everybody and talking to certain people, you know what I'm saying, it was, a couple, it was a melee at both venues, and it's like, basically, it's like, bruh, man, the people that built this DMV culture, man, music culture that been in this shit for a long ass time, niggas ain't doing no dumb ass shit like that. You know what I'm saying? People like, you know, man, we us artists ain't doing nothing like that because we know better. We help build this shit, but this is more of the people that ain't that's just coming in. You know, just buying they went in. You know, just just getting their feet wet. That's really like anything else. Just just effing it up. You know what I mean? For everybody to work so hard to get in the house. You know I mean, how about theater is legendary? We talking about the Howard Theater when the Temptations and all them people came through. It's the same spot, same location. I got, you know, to, I got to perform, you know, man. I mean, you know, the Fillmore, man, that had, you know, the Fillmore about to have Tech 9 come through. You know, uh, you know, they had major people. Where's, I mean, where's Khalifa, man? Currency, I mean, you know, Future. We can keep going. You know, Travis Scott. So, you know, these places is, 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 is big platforms for artists from DMV area to, to really display their music in a big concert form. You see what I'm saying? Not no club in the whole wall or whatever, whatever. And you know, you got people like, you know what I'm saying, Eddie Kane, shouts out to Eddie Kane, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, work hard, put his reputation on the line for us DMV artists, you know, giving us platforms, you know, it's different cars, television Mo, shows. Mo, real quick, I just want to say, what the youngins that caused that disturbance didn't understand and that there's no way that they, that they could be from the area and understand that what they did at Howard, Eddie Kane, that was his CBS launch. You know what I mean, that was his launch party for he worked to get his CBS show, CBS 46 in Atlanta. That all those DMV artists in a historical theater. I performed at Howard. It's a feeling when you walk in there, dog. Yeah, I perform. I just perform you feel me when you when, when you see the trumpet when you see the trumpet from Louis Armstrong when you walking in, in the cases and everything, and you and you get to see it, it really hits you. You know, the first right. time I performed at Howard, I had to sit down to really take in, and you know I'm a size, I get I get fired up, but you know, right. and there was there's people on the stage with me. I had to sit down. I had to like really sit down and take in it. Like man, I'm really perform. I'm, I'm I'm from San Diego, California, dog. 
Right. And I, I really had to take in, and I was really performing at Howard Theater during right. Howard Homecoming. I was like, really? <laughs> you know? And right. now, now it's, it's like what Bello was saying today. It's what Gang was saying today. Excuse me. So what, so what they want? They just want to keep doing open mics? Nah, these man. Brothers, these, 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 brothers work, these brothers work for these platforms to be opened up to hip-hop to get the indie artists and, 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 and the underground artists paid. To start to start letting them know what it feels like to get paid off, right. of, off of your craft. Off your craft, he's most definitely. So, I mean, bro, like for real, man, like I said, shouts out to Eddie King, man. It's like, them, them people don't, what they did, they don't know what they did. You know, it's a lot of people that's behind them, people like Eddie King and Yankee, man. They do a lot. They put a lot of money up to, you know what I'm saying, put these shows together. Yeah, you know, some people, you know, you got to pay to play. But at the same time, they didn't put their money up front to make sure the shit even happened. You know, he didn't have, uh, you know, um, all different types of, you know, advanced promo on the show. He been promoting it for five months. Man, I just thought it was crazy how, you know, five months of hard work just go in and drain for like five to ten minutes of some bullshit that, you know what I'm saying? Because whatever it was, man, it was nothing worth, you know, fucking it up. But they say they fuck out with it up, man. Melee, man. That Over uh, $4,000 $4, plus <laughs> dollars of damages, man. That, and, 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 and that's on Kane and his partner. You feel me? Right. Like they don't get that, and like what you're saying, they don't get how what they did affects the culture. Like you're you you you're a D, you're from DC. You're known as the oh, as the DC know, street poet. You feel me? And and I live in Maryland. I live in Maryland, and I and I go all over this little region. You know what I mean, like you know, I I be I be everywhere. I be up in PA, WV, everywhere, and I you know in in different indie circuits. And one of the most important things that like the, the the cats that have been doing it for a minute. One thing we understand is the importance of not misbehaving. It's like, come on, man. When you first when you first start going to do shows, somebody would show up. It wasn't like you had a beef with them, but somebody looked at you wrong, and you're there with your squad because it's like one of your first performances, and they want to make sure your head right and everything. And then you want to you want to you they you want to they want to go outside. You want to go outside. And then you right. and then your people your people that pay attention to what you're a part of and the potential that you have to be significant in the culture that you that you're a part of right they stop you and they say dog you can't do that no more right like you're gonna do that that gotta be on the block because if you act up at a venue venue owners no venue owners and they will blackball you dog they'll say no nah, right. if you book him it's gonna be a fight they're gonna tear your club up you know. All right, it looks. Hey, hey, hey fellas, hey fellas, it looks like we got them back on the line right now. Hey, hey, hey Sunny so season. I apologize for the. Uh, apologize so so much for the uh, feedback problem that we had a pro problem ago. It was it was one of our microphones were, were was messing up uh, just a minute ago. So I'm so sorry about that. Okay. I apologize. It's all good. It's all good. We back. We back. Big yo okay. in the house. <laughs> all right, all right. So now we can get the show on the road. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on WBOK Radio live right now, we have Sonny Caesar. Sonny Caesar, he is a new artist. He's actually a new up and coming artist. He is from the group uh, uh, Onyx. You guys remember the group Onyx? Uh, they have uh, many, many hits, man, that we all remember and we all love. So we're just so happy to have him on on WBOKRadio.com right now. Um, Sonny C. Sonny, how you doing today, my man? Hey, man. I'm live and well. I'm doing well, you know what I'm saying? Everything is looking good. The project is launched out. The new Bridges album. Moment of silence for the fallen okay. soldier. My man, Fife Dog. Shout out to his 5 4 Quest. Uh, rest in peace, Fife Dog, man. One of the man, most extraordinary right, man, man. in hip-hop, man. I'm going to just say that, man, like for real. Absolutely, absolutely, man. You know, we, we definitely got to give props props to where, where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, I, I got a real quick question for you, Sonny. Um, for the for the audience, uh, could you please let the audience know where they can find you and where they can find your new music right now? Can you let the audience know where they can find you at? Me on iTunes. We have the Bridges album of their spell. Uh, of course, we have the singles as well, and you can also go to my website, www. 
Sun S O N S E E Z A Sun Caesar dot Bandcamp dot com. I'm rolling with the Bandcamp squad right now. We got the pictures album up there. You can check it out. Hey yo, man, we just gotta do what we gotta do, man, to keep the hip hop moving and live. The campaign is strong. Listen, man, cause without them, it would be no hard. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm having a little bit of a volume problem on your side. I think it's, I think it just may be the. Uh, I think maybe if you could speak up just a little bit, I think we could we can get good sound, good sound quality. But I want to make sure we can get the best. Can you hear me better now? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You sound great now. Right, sound great. great. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So so um, de definitely, I want to um, I want to give give the floor to uh, Larry uh, Yogi Weeks and and uh, and Tragic. They they had uh, quite a uh, few questions to ask you too, real quick. So let me let, give the floor to them real quick. All right. Go ahead, Mo. <laughs> okay. So. Nah, nah, right. Hey, yo, y'all in the D or y'all in Michigan, right? Everybody. Nah. nah. Oh, nah, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brown out here, bro. Nah, nah, that ain't going down out here, baby. Man, we nah, I'm saying I'm trying to figure out where everybody. I'm in New York City, so I'm trying to figure out where everybody we're at. Away from you, man. We're about four hours away. From you, man. About four hours away from you, dog. Okay, that's just up. We all on the East Coast. Yeah, Mo, Mo, tragic Mo. He in D.C. He is. Okay. He is, he is known. He is renowned as the best D.C. street poet. Via yeah. hip hop, I'm, yeah, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, I get I'm, down with DC. DC always showing up. Oh, they always going. They That's always, always going. Every time it's I came like, down there, they made me feel real welcome, man. It takes risk to get it down there, pal. It takes risk to get it down there. We I'm in Maryland, you know. though. <laughs> I'm That's in Maryland. Yeah, you know I mean, but we all on we all we all on that ninety five pipeline, pal. You know, down down I ninety five, we coming down. You know what I'm saying? You stop over in Virginia. You're going to keep it moving, you're going to get to D.C., and then, bomb. you're going to definitely go through Maryland and everything like that. So it's like, bomb. every one of those states showed us. Yo, son, we did a show one time. I'm not sure. It was like 80, It was like 94-ish. Like right after Back to Fucked Up came out. And, yo, son, they showed us so much. Uh, Jay had us out there, and, we, and they showed us so much love. We did a show. On the spur of the moment, we was coming home from another show, going to the hot, the, the, the hotel and shit. And Jay made a call, talked to some cats he knows, some promoter cats or something. We went, we went to the show. We performed in the crowd. Nigga ain't even had no stage, son. Nigga ain't poked to nothing. Niggas was rocking. We was rocking in, in the crowd, performing yeah. slant. We just it came through for one stage. And they showed us yeah, so much nice. love. I said, y'all, I never did a show like that. That was Maryland. That was DC. That was man. So I give it up for all you guys, man. That's my word, cause I. These are fond memories of mine. You that's know? that night. I mean, when night. I was like, yo, that's how it was, man. I was like, yo, everybody do. Like, like y'all stick. Real talk. Real talk. Man, hey, hey, shit, we... All right, now, let's get back to the interview. I just had to go there for a minute, sir. I just had to say this. I just had to say this, pimp. I live in Maryland, but when Back the Fuck Up came out from Onyx, when Slam came out, I was oh, in yeah. North Chicago, dog. I was living in North Chicago. I moved to Maryland from North Chicago. I didn't even know that. I thought y'all was from Chicago. I say word. Wow. I, I didn't even know that y'all were from New York. I didn't, I, I didn't know about Massachusetts. What y'all were saying, that's what we were oh. doing in Chicago at that time, bro. <laughs> and, yo, ever since I was watching Good Times as a young man, watched the GDs and everybody do their thing and see how it was. Shot down was like right. New York. That's just, right. I think we all get up. <laughs> we, we, Right, this. Should I? That's the okay. man. You got good brothers, man. We got, we got the Bridges album coming, like I was saying. Um, okay. it's like ten chains on that. Uh, I got most of the guys that uh. I did like the paying away for us. Okay. Uh, um, let me ask you this: Are you still performing with Onyx right now? <clears throat> because I know you're doing your solo career now too. But but are you still? You you are still doing some Onyx. Stuff right with Onyx, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 
since I have so much things I'm doing right now, I got a lot of projects on the board right now with me on the table. I got um, my people rocking with Cash Freddy. I might have heard their name. They're from the Michigan area. Okay, They're from the okay. Chicago area. Yeah. Um, Philly area. Uh, they got an artist named Turned Up Man. He's doing his thing. Plus, I do a lot of art. You know what I mean? I got different artists. So we got wow. this thing going through a page on Facebook wow. called Cash Workers. And it's like just different muralists, graffiti artists, any kind of artist, performance art, whatever. And we working on that right now, plus the bridges. So I'm doing all of that. So certain show I'll jump on, you know what I mean? The big joints okay. for the most part. I'm like Wolverine, Lord X-Men. I'm on my own Logan, old man Logan shit right now. And they Absolutely. doing them, I'm doing them. It's all gravy, you know what I mean? That's pretty Absolutely. much it. So you may catch us together doing some stuff real soon. Again, it's the, on, the whole Onyx. But you can okay. definitely hear some Sunny Caesar, a lot of Bridges, Titanium, that's my brand. And they okay. look out for Cash Fetty. All Around Money Publishing, that's my people. They're going to help the young fellas get their publishing rights together. So, yeah. hey, we here for the people, man. Absolutely. 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 Appreciate that, man. Because there's, there's a lot of people that, that, that leave that knowledge away from the up-and-coming younger artists. They know that they're hungry, so they, you know, they work to dig through their pockets to see what their what their value is instead of working on their value as an MC. And I, I really appreciate hearing you say that, like, live on air. It's like a lot, a lot of what you're doing right now is like who you are to me is an OG. And OGs <laughs> younger cats them how to get to where... To, to, to teach them how to achieve what they've achieved without yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So I really appreciate hearing that. Yeah. Part, OG. I, 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 you know, you know, yo, my bad, yo. Yo, my phone you got it. Yo, my phone got the jumping, man. Yo, it's crazy. Oh, what up, what up, bro? I see you back. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but nah, look, <laughs> Backing up too, word up, and to call these niggas. Right, right. Yeah, man. It's, and I feel like that's what it is. We gotta keep it going. It's it's way beyond us. It's bigger than us. The art form, the art, the culture. You know, this is our voice. We can't let nobody take our voice away from us before we utilize it properly. You know, we are gonna right, go and right. do the things that we all we're teenagers. We all are becoming teenagers. Some of us have grandchildren in the game, but at the same time. We watched our homies got, uh, rise, fall, we've risen, fell, you know, and unfortunately some of them are not here to live to this day, but they're living through us, so we got to give it right. up, though, because I'm, I'm the yeah. youngest, I'm, I'm, uh, and I got five brothers, you know what I'm saying? And I'm well, OG, hey. so you know I'm fucking G, 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 Thing is what hey, we create hey, yo, all collectively. Hey, yo, Sonny, I want to ask you Every little bit of... Man, you adding on, so that's what it's about. Man. Hey, yo, bruh. And people don't take it like... Man, like, how did it feel? How did it feel when you was performing on my team? I know y'all made it, because cause for a long time, I did. I was there for my homework is correct. You know what I'm saying? They, when y'all went overseas, y'all toured for a long time because they showed you a lot of love over there. Y'all ain't really want to come back. <laughs> yeah. My own correct. I remember the Onyx tour video. Hey, yo. I remember the Onyx tour. Answer the first question. <laughs> Electric, man. Electric, B. You can't describe it, man. You know what I'm saying? You got people that don't even hardly talk your language, but they yelling and screaming. And when I say, say, ho, they say, ho. Got him. You know what I'm saying? And just to watch, just to watch the elders for me that. You in the stands and you in the fans in the fan booth like, yo, these guys getting busy. I don't want to get busy people with your music and yeah, the stage. That's a great feeling party, you know? It's like it's not just like I'm performing and you're listening. It's like we all rocking. Motherfuckers come on stage. Chicks, dudes, you know what I mean? Some niggas can come up here sometimes once in a while. And niggas, you know, crazy dudes from out of the country, they'll come on and want to drive around. We'll let a nigga rhyme. You know what I mean? You got 16. What up, nigga? Man, like it's crazy. So it's always 
It's always fun, man. It's the elements, man. If we had a guy who come, a nigga who come on on the stage, at least on my stage, and want to do some windmills and break dance, come on, nigga, get busy. <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> Just when I go oh, into my shit while I'm doing hey, things. Yes, yes, sir. Other than that, I had a question. All love. I had a question for you, pal. Um, it, it, it's on. It's, it's on some. It, it's on some like you know, onyx who you are, and and things that are going on and progression that's happened since you guys first came out, and what drove you all to say we're not gonna conform to be able to 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 produce our craft and perform our craft. You know, during that time that was like the ice that's when Ice T was changing over. That's when like after police came out. You know what I'm saying? That that was post like uh that that was post and during like the the the, the quietness of, of like public enemy. And you all came out and just gave it raw like from this from the staircases like what we was really thinking what we was really doing how we were really acting now right. what were what what do you what were some of the difficulties to make that marketable profitable and to become like you all are legends because y'all actually wrapped what y'all did and it was certified people could come where you were at and find out if y'all really got down like that but with the way that things have been going nowadays with the younger culture that's so, so, so targeted towards, you know, like y'all were built for what you were saying. You feel me? So, like, what do you see, like, okay. the issue with, like, this is I mean, coming up. With, with, the, with, with the younger cats that are coming up trying to talk the same way and trying to personify the same things without the same background? You feel me? Like y'all had the background to say what y'all were saying. You know, now you know, back in the day there was like artist development teams with labels. But I'm pretty sure that Onyx didn't need that. I mean, there was no way to say you guys need to act like this to be Onyx. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, no, I mean you pair you pair youth angst, you pair creativity, dope rum um, skills. You pair that with Def Jam and Jam Big Stage, man, you grow up. Yeah. So it was like, yo, they got Sussy, they got Fredro, they got Sticky. So once they gave us such an open playing field, and then not to mention, this is where this is where L, L came through. I'm back. Radio and then not the public. Strawberry banana. So they was that was the home of outlandish, controversial, you know, speech in the in the rap game. But in the NWA movement, is that we always connected at our. Time. So it's like a little bit of all of that, you know. We had the hood. we had the, the Russell Simmons right. stage, like you the Jam Master J stage. Then we was I was the DJ when I started. All these things that we was going through, not to mention. Stop using Desert Storm. My people's being sent off the war. You know what I mean? Our people. So we was just in some. Yo, fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm an army vet. I'm an army vet. You know what I mean? Like, we, like my people's, like my people, like army vets that are watching, that we watch this. They, they, you know, while we're doing it, we're going to put a ticket pop. All of us. We, we, we opened the door for Wu Tangs and all of us. I know the Wu Tang guys. I grew up with Chisholm. I grew up with Killer Priest. Like, if I wasn't going to go to Onyx, Queens and start Onyx, I probably would have still been, I probably would have been rocking with the Wu Tangs. Because a lot of justice got, uh, uh, used to go with my, my brother Knowledge. You know what I mean, when, when I was a young dude. And this is in the early age when I first started DJing. 
You know what I'm saying? So I was definitely getting ready to get it cracking with this hip hop somehow. I just went out and started Onyx. We made the team. Because they were in the Gave him his name, and he made it pop. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was rocking with Chain on them. I was cutting the big J turntables and all So this is where I come. You know, these young guys right now, they're living these things. They're, they're, they're doing these things. They're, you know, you see the murder rate right now in different parts of the, city, the, the, the cities, man, the inner cities that we live in, and it's horrendous. It's crazy. The murder rate was too much then. It's too much now. We got young people that we got to take care of, and they got to take care of us. And that hair pop shit and all that glitz and glamour and smoking mirrors and shit, I'm not really for all of that, but I'm for the voice of the people who for getting busy, I'm for not being corny, you know what I'm saying, I'm for all of that, so what, so what they gonna get from me tonight is this is what Sun sees about, I love my brothers, they do some bullshit, I'm gonna check them, if they not, I ain't gonna check them, but at the end of the day, we gonna keep them moving, we all brothers under the same nation, which is the, 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 the universal language that we speak, not to mention everything else, but let's go with hip hop. Okay. With that, with that, with that being said, what, what I'm going to do? Actually, you know what I, mean? I'm gonna I went in there. Let's I went in there because I had a lot of things going on today. I had to give it up. Salutations, well, Jay. Salutations. Okay. Jay. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm actually gonna go, gonna go ahead and play one of your tracks right now. I'm gonna go ahead and play one of your tracks right now, Sonny. Uh, what I'm doing is a great thing, man. And I want to go Okay. Uh, can you guys hear me now? I got you. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get ready to play one of your tracks right now. So hopefully. Hey, man, say something, man. Don't make me sound like a weirdo, man. I just wanted to tell you what it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that's a bet. That's a bet. So hopefully this goes through just fine. I'm running it through a different way. So hopefully this being goes a crazy through. nutshell, man. Real talk, cause right now hip hop is, is I don't know. You got hip hop versus rap, you know. I don't know who came up with that, but that's where we at right now. Now it's not even hip hop versus rap. It's hip hop trap and rap. So it's like all kinds oh, of shit going. Oh, 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 oh. I just thought it was beast rap. You don't see no trap rap around me, pimp. Please, please don't say no trap rap around me. Oh, thank you for saying that, OG. At least I know like the OGs in the game feel the same way, dog. Yeah, Mo, man. I, tragic. I know you're hearing this, so I know you feel this too, dog. Hey, thank do you. your music, man. They just somebody's trying to make it efficient, man. You know how dividing. You you okay. can't be divided. I got this thing. My new record coming out is called All School. I think I sent it to y'all. Well, we All, right, about to play. All School means there, then, here, now. Mr. Mitchell about to play one of these tracks out, out this new work from you right now, OG. All I school, feel man. privileged to be online to hear it, dog. <laughs> That's what's up. WBOK. Shout out to WBOK. What up? Because we're going to be okay. Like Sun said, we're going to be all right. We're going to be okay. WBOK. Sun Man, yo, be over there. Trash Mondo. And Charles. That's right. 20 countries a day. What's up, man? They spend on WBOK. Huh? That's what it is, man. Heard up. I got my people uh, uh, chiming in. I did the record with Empire Music. Shout out to Empire Music from Switzerland, Basel, Switzerland. Shout out to Zurich. Shout out to Delamar. Shout out to DJ Edom. Shout out to Jake Bees and DJ Trey who did the joints on the album. The album is, is, is coming through as official. Shout out to DJ Rad Magnificent. Rad Magnificent. Straight from Queens. The only producer on the record from America. Everybody else is from the European side, but it's all dope. Shout out to Def Con. That UK grind. I know. That UK <laughs> grind. I know, G. Don't hurt okay. him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, they, 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 they really get in down there, man. They still break dance a lot. They still do a lot of graffiti. And I love those things. I do both. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, 
Yeah, shout to Common. Common doing a lot of break dancing now. You see nigga break dancing in the barber shop and all that shit. Niggas break dancing on the other shit. <laughs> nigga, that nigga like 49 years old, nigga doing that break dance shit. I like that. I like that. But yeah, for real though, I love the art and so they doing their thing over there in Switzerland. So shout out to Switzerland. Like um Mo, Mo Mo hinted on it, but like I wanted to ask you, like, um like right now I'm going through like a couple of different I have to move. I'm going through like a couple of different changes and everything, but like when you were hitting on like were when you all were like you all spent a lot of time overseas because you know that's where the music was spending. You feel me? That's what that's yeah. what that's what that's what the money was at. That's where the shows are at. You know what I mean? You gotta be, you know what I mean? You gotta be in position to be able to go to where your money's at. But like yeah. you were saying, like when you guys went overseas, were you guys like signed so that the label translated? Because I, I heard you hint on like they it wasn't even translated. They were getting it the same way that we were getting it. You know what I mean? Like you, you weren't like you know. You go do a show in you go do a show in China. You go do a show in Germany. You go you go over to the UK. They're they're not translating slam to their language. You know what I mean? They're clanking slam. Right. Off of you know, it. I, mean, I, never, <laughs> I, I never really I never really got into that. I, I started to like recently because I'm. Doing a lot of that stuff now with different artists. Right. Man, I want to know what the hell y'all niggas are saying on that record. But, but yeah, nah, back then, I never really, it never was an issue at the time. Like I said, if I said, yo, everybody say ho, and they said ho, and I'm good. And then we bugged out on some niggas in, 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 on a, crew, uh, a crowd in, in J Japan. We was in Japan, like in the 90s, early 90s. And we said, we're going to see if they're going to know we talk. So we said, if you a bitch ass nigga, say ho! And nigga said, ho! Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, man, you're saying, do whatever, say whatever, do your thing. That's yeah. my word. Yeah. That was a hell memory. They just like the or something. Where we gonna be able to see you? Where are we gonna be able to see you soon, brother? Hey, I'm coming out, man. I'm about, I'm about to get back out on the on the tour so I get real soon. Let them know, man. You know, WBOK everywhere, man. Let us know where we're going to be able to see you. Yeah, we sure. be able to like, yeah, shake your hand and show you some love, brother. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Man. Love back to y'all, brothers, man. I'm just hey. trying to do my thing, man, and let my people shine, too. We all going to do it like a one big party, you heard? Hey, yo, Sonny. Absolutely. Live, though. Live, Sonny, man. We got we to gotta exchange each other infos, dog. Like, when you come in the city, man. I be your private navigator out here, man, in these streets, man. Like I do. Yeah, me. Oh yeah, man. It's, it's, it's say no more. It's, it's a done Mo ain't lying. Mo ain't lying. These cats are. Yeah, these, these cats are. I'm rolling out with trash. Oh. Running through the face <laughs> here, like, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. Hey yo, you know, and my man Yogi, man, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Hey yo, you definitely, we definitely on our link, bro. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. That, after that, after we do the thing, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna shoot you the, uh, the, the, the information on the text bomb. It's an early thing. Okay, okay, that you know don't what work, saying? man. Because I, um, I got, I just got the email, you know, for that. You know what I mean? But I, I, I after the phone call, after we do the video, you right here. I'll get you the information, man. Because I really want to oh, yeah. get back down there on y'all guys' side, man, and we can all turn it up. We got a little bit of time. Yeah, I want to come through and support, dog. Me and Yogi come through and support, dog. Like, just yeah. to feel the vibe, brother. Just soak in the, the legendary hip-hop, dog. Like, the foundation for us to even do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my man Yogi ain't no, you know, he ain't no lightweight. You know, you might want to, you know, get a track with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like he just, he just, you know, but I'm just saying, like, we that's come all down, Sony's bro. business now, pimp. That's all Sony's business now, man. You know what I'm where, saying? Wherever they oh, told me to go, I go. Oh, he said Sony. I know about them <laughs> Sony. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to, but hey, I ain't going to no mansion parties. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 yeah, that's it. 
Hey, for the hug. Hey, for the hug. Hey, hey, Yogi, I don't even think you got to worry about it. I'm already here. Yeah. All right, fellas. Hey, fellas. Hey, fellas. Y'all, y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me? Okay, okay. Hey, yeah, man. Y'all, y'all, hey, man. Whatever you got, man, send me the invite. I'm ready to come through. Show love, man. You guys are some live dudes, man. I appreciate hanging out with you cats, man, right now, man. Where we at? Hey, hey, man. Just... Oh, my bad. Okay. My bad. Go ahead, Charles. My bad. Okay. Here's, here's what I was going to try to say. Was actually what we're going to do. Actually, I'm going to uh, put you in heavy yeah, rotation. Charles, 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 put you in heavy rotation Charles, on uh, on WBOK Radio. We're going to put you in heavy rotation, my man. Sonny, so, Charles um, is gone? It's just you and Yogi? No, I'm still here. I'm still here. Charles is still here. I'm just, I I just got my no image off. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. We got we missed the I'm marching. Right now. I'm marching. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the lab, man. I'm making my steak, man. I'm trying to get my car right so I, before I go outside. Hey, yeah. You gonna do that, legend, man? That that's why. Hey, I'm I'm definitely, man. Listen, whatever I can do when you're in the city, man. Call me, man. I got the plug, man. Oh, a yeah. lot of things, man. No yeah. Hey, trash. I'm gonna be calling you sooner than later, man. Nah, for all right, real. all right. Do that, man. Believe that. Call <laughs> <me>. <laughs> all right. You know. So. Your boy, your boy, bet you. I was born in '85, baby. You know when the you know situation hit. You feel me? Yeah. I was raised off of you niggas, man. You know, it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was a little different from me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see you. Hey, I bro. see you. That's what's up. Mortal '85 was crazy live. I remember them days. Hey, my right, right, right. right. Man, right. I'm just on and I'm on the phone with the legend. You know what I'm saying? The Lord legend. <laughs> the legend. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm on you, know, I'm you, guys, you know, trying to give me some time to get my little thing on, show the people what I'm doing, man, because, you know, the game is crazy. I'm not no conformist, man. Yeah, okay. What you, bro? Cause like, Yo, niggas ain't talking about shit no more right now. You know what I'm saying? And we need that essence, man. We need the old head guidance. We need the, the wisdom, man, to, to stir back, you know what I'm saying, the historic of this hip-hop shit, what it's really about, letting people know that, you know what I'm saying, this is our culture. It should, it should, no other culture should be running what we created. You know what I'm saying? So I just appreciate you, bro. You got to come back out here and let these dudes know, like, real life. You know what I'm saying? I'm so okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna play his track. I'm gonna play his track Man, right now, but it's gonna be work. like it's gonna hey, hey, yo, play, play that. Man, that's my word, because if we don't do it, we're gonna do it for us. It's it's gonna be uh, it's what? actually gonna be Nat sound. It's gonna be Nat sound. It's gonna sound horrible over this, over this uh, broadcast. Yo. But it, but it's gonna sound horrible over the broadcast as far as the quality. Not not the song. Don't don't get me wrong. Not the song, but the quality is not gonna sound that great because I'm running it Nat sound. Yeah, man. But, I wanna let the world know, man. We got bridges of people on but, iTunes but, oh, and Bandcamp. Sun Caesar, Sun Caesar, S O N S E Z A A dot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold up. I got Greg Valentine from Off City on there. I got Grave Digger. Grave, my man, Grave Digger. From the Flatliners. From the uh, Jam T label back in the days. And um, when we was out there doing our thing with Jam Master J2. So that's my people who got busy on the title track. I got my cousin Chubbs on there. I got my cousin Dobrek. These up and coming artists doing these things out here in the Brooklyn area and uh, up and down in the Rock State area trying to do their thing. So it's a good look, man. It's just hip hop. It's a little glimpse into what I do. It's my onyx. You know, it's my titanium onyx. Shout out to everybody that supports the bridge. Shout out to everybody that supports WBOK, man. Let's go, man. <clears throat> This is the old interview. I ain't gonna front, and I like it. This is the old, like, so I guess it's appropriate. It's like you see on hang. Niggas kicking it. Like, you know, so, yeah. That's cool though. That's cool though. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be down at I-95. Man, I'm gonna let you know what it is. All right. That's that sound must not be coming through. That sound must not be coming through. No, I'm. I can hear it in the background. 
Yeah, I can't. Okay, I was about to. After, you know, we got we got about what another hour and a half, so I'm be able to. Oh, well, not. I mean. Yeah, I tell you what, no, uh, we won't, we won't, we won't have him on all, all that time. But what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna actually take and put it on. Uh, uh, yeah, man. We're gonna put it on WBOK. Twenty okay. sixteen, man, bro. Yeah, man. And what I, what I could do is, is if it's okay, uh, Sonny, I'll uh, yeah. send them a copy as well. I'll send them a Yo, copy as well. What's the name of the club that you got going on down there, church? Me right now, okay. pimp. Um. I was I was working for like a solid like three years on everything, you know, like I was just ciphering record shops, all that, you know. I'm I'm, I'm a battle cat, you know, and um, it was like a lot of cats start coming around about the music. So I've really only been like circulating music. I call it public music. I mean, I've only right. been doing public music for about what four years, five years, if that, and. Um, I got to the place like I'm a scholar cat, so like I've I've watched you. I mean, I, I've I've I pay attention. Like I don't I don't I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm an old school cat. You know I mean like so I don't really listen to too much new stuff. I mean like I kind of just I kind of just sit down in my lab and listen to my work. But I got to a place and point where like people start you know investors start coming around, and I didn't even know the shop for that. I mean like I didn't know the shop for like investors. I didn't know the shop. I, you know, it's like if a radio station hit me up and they wanted a track, I'm like, cool, here you go. But it's it, 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 it's developed into like now, like, like as we, you know, like not as we speak, nothing crazy like that. Like, I really don't like that paraphrase when people be like, yo, wait, wait till you see what I got coming out, son. You know what I mean? Because I don't do that. I mean, like, I don't get up on social media and talk a whole bunch about like a project coming up because we know shit happens. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah. So you can have it in your head that you're gonna tell the people, I got something coming out in eight weeks. Week nine, you you're focusing on why it didn't come out on week eight, but the people that you told that it would be out on week eight, they looking at you like, come on, dog. You ain't have to lie, dog. You just gave us the music. Yeah. You don't even want to get into the explaining to your. Uh, right. 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 You know, it's like. I, all that, but like um, right now, really like um, like full creative control with with um, with Sony, and you know with yeah. Sony, that's not just and like and like I said, like I went I went to a mansion, I went to a mansion in Virginia. I went, hey, hey, Mo, I see your face, bro. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, sir. I yes, went sir. to a mansion to go talk with Black Wall Street. Not a mansion party. You feel me? <laughs> like I drove myself. I didn't drink or smoke nothing but a cigarette that was in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's <a> different. <laughs> but, I don't really like 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 uh you know catalog wise I think I'm I think I'm decent um business wise I think I'm I, I think I'm I, I think I'm doing the push-ups to be stronger like I'm willing to do the work I know it's gonna hurt I know I'm gonna have to sweat I know it's gonna be uncomfortable but my my like what I'm doing right now is like old tracks like right now Sony is retaining like old uh old money for me like like there's like I didn't know I just I just go rap like, oh, okay. Like, like, I'm goofy. Like, I'm, I'm goofy. I just right. be like this. Hi, my name's Larry. I like to rap. And then people see me in the crowd, you know, because, you know, we're chilling in the crowd and everything. They're like, oh, this dude's cool. He's buying drinks. He's getting faded. You know, he came in this joint faded. He's smelling like some incense. And then they don't know. Like, I know I know who I'm going after. You know what I mean? So then, I, then I'm up on stage and I kill it real quick. And then they're like, how come you didn't tell me? I'm like, because you didn't know who I am. My, right, right. You know, so for you to know who I am, I got to do that on the stage, not down here having drinks with you. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. You know, there's a little balance, you know. I, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm a scholar. It's just like I see Mo. Mo's been opening up opportunities for me to be down in the city, like, consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like, hit, hit like, a solid spot. 
like like consistent. Like he's in like like when he said he got you. When you come to the city, it ain't gonna be that like extra thug shit. You feel me? Like this nigga is, you know what I mean, like where he live and what them niggas do, like you won't have no problems. You won't have no problems. Like I live in Maryland. I live in Maryland. Okay. You know I mean? Like like I live a little bit different than some of these cats. You know what I mean? But like my what I do and who I am, like Yogi is young original gangster Imperial, Imperial Black Gangster Disciple folks. Okay. That's just, I'm branded. Like I'm branded. Like my only tattoos I have, I have no tattoos below the wrist on the right hand to make sure that when I show love, it's pure. Okay, I got you. I'm, I'm traditional. I'm traditional, and I am one of the only out here on the East Coast where I live that's not trying to be something other than what they are. I'm goofy. I love life. I love rap. I love hip hop. I love the complexity of the business of it. I love the yeah. money that comes. I love I, I love when you got money and you didn't even know you got money. Exactly. You start checking your back royalties and then you're just waiting for your ass cap check to come. Woo! I didn't know I had yeah. two years of back royalties, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like I still get excited about it. I know some cats that I think That's are a good dumb. I know some cats that I think like, are I know. Like, but they tell me that they, they 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 don't like performing anymore. And I'm like what you what you still make what what you why are you still spending thousands of dollars a month to go to the studio if you don't even like performing anymore? Because this is not the nineties. Like labels don't sign people and change yeah. your bank account overnight no more. Labels acquire companies that are working companies that they see profit in. Yeah, it's a different look right profit. now, man. With, I'm, you, I'm with a website, a hospital, and with, 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 with the hospital, get a passport. You feel me? Because <laughs> you know, we're gonna be profitable. Sometimes you gotta do some shit that might fuck your passport up. You gonna kill the lower forty-eight. Right. You are gonna kill the lower forty-eight. But if you can't go, like my label, right? Like Sony, right now is retaining money from Germany, China, and the UK. And none of them, like, 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 what I was asking you the questions for is because before Sony, now, now Sony will translate the music for me, so it's in their language. But like for like a couple years now, I'm retaining like two years of back royalties from like China. I don't speak Chinese. Mm. I don't. I don't speak German. I speak a little bit of German. I know how to cuss and ask for the bathroom. Same thing like when I go to Mexico. Yeah, so, that's something. And this is only this is only my first outing with uh, a European base, uh, <laughs> and they're not even independent at the wrong time of that. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I spent seven years in the army. I've been overseas as a black man. <laughs> I've right. Been, and you've been overseas as like a, a black like when you, that's what I'm saying. When Onyx when when Onyx went overseas. They, they, you still, you, you still saw. I know you saw like the Asians with like the Coca Cola shirt. Everything America. You're hip hop. Yeah. You're black. You're Onyx. You're 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 not you're not Will Smith in the game. <laughs> and they love you. Right. And, and the thing about it, when we first went, we went to press it with Run DMC. You know what I mean? Like they already had. Oh, so when it was like, it, oh, you know what I mean? Like we had our own thing going too because we were their age, but they well, were, you know, they had their deal with Ger <laughs> uh, uh, Adidas in Germany already. So, well, so that well. right there, was, it was home. But when it went to the major, you know, the first time they ever let us wet our feet in Europe, it was like the niggas was right there with us. Like, Running and all this kind of thing, like, like, like yeah. I'll connect right. you to here because we never went those places without them first. You know what I'm saying? Something. I mean, can I ask you a question, OG? Like, yeah. I just experienced this for the first time, but like the first time, like you and the whole squad, like you know, Sticky and 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 um. John Brown, I can't remember. Sticky and his his cousin. Well, Fredro. Fredro. Fredro Stark. 
They were out of New York. I remember yeah. that they, Onyx could not be launched because you were in Massachusetts. And it was like, a, you know, like, now nah, we need to do this together, right? So I was on this, right? You out of and, and and I'm not knocking the brothers. It's nothing. Believe me, it's nothing negative. I, I, I'm man. I don't want fucking Fredro or fucking Sticky showing up in my goddamn front door, dog. I really don't. Thank I really guys. don't. Cause these niggas can afford lawyers. You know what I'm saying? But I've noticed that through the progression of what what has happened and the time that you've spent with them and and the come up. You feel me? Like the come up. Like, from when y'all first got together and said, we're going to do this. Okay, y'all got this. I got this. Let's put this together. Let's do this. You stayed core to hip-hop and away from fame and away from... Lot. Now, I can't say fame because you're going to be who you are. Like, you famous to me. You famous to a lot of motherfucking people. But you stayed away from the limelight. Like, the difference in between limelight and famous. You feel me? But yeah. for me... I respect you a lot because you're, 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 to me, that's why I say OG, you know, like in, in my nation, we don't have OGs, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's, that's other factions that have OGs and triple OGs. We yeah, are yeah. just who we are. You know what I mean? But you keep it OG where you're like, I'm, I came in this doing hip hop and my influence is what, that, that that's what it gained me. The money's gonna come and go, but my influence is my value. And yeah. you, you, you've kept it hip hop, and you and you stuck to the culture, and you didn't minus out the cats that you saw that were like hungry on the same path that you followed. I mean, right. like it's, it's hurdles, it's spot. You know, you gotta go through a lot to be able to get to where you got to, and, and where and where you're at, and where you're going. And that, that's why I really salute you, pal. Like you really stuck. You really stick with hip hop. You really stick with the culture. Like hey, you ain't. You yes. ain't. You ain't, you ain't say like I, I got. I got a hundred grand that I can go put in. Like I can put myself into a movie. I mean, you're like I'm not an actor. Right. You know, this is me. This exactly. is what I have to give. But I have, and that's my thing. Is like I got a lot of people around me that I know and watch their talents, and I'm like, yo. Because I'm a director. I'm the guy that sees the scene and set the scene up. You know, this is how we can do it. This is a vision I have because I'm a painter. I'm an artist. I'm a muralist. I do all of these things. I have been. It's just what I am. So I can see the scene. So because I wasn't wanting to be in front of the camera doesn't mean right. I'm not with the camera. I know some people are better suited for certain positions. And I can see that, and I want to definitely be able to to, 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 to create that idea and and, and, and make it a reality. Because there's a lot of people I know that's just, you know, everybody don't want to rhyme or make beats. You know, I realize that we we beyond that. There's somebody that's so good at selling those rhymes and those beats. As a company, a black company. You know what I mean? Not working for one of the majors, but creating a major. But it's like a lot of a lot of people are good at styling. A lot of people are good at different things. So it's like you can't overlook those traits and those attributes and talents at the same time. So it's like I want to recognize all of that around me because it's around me. And I tell my guys, like, yo, everybody's not good at rhyming and making beats. There's so many other things we are good at. And so... Once you find your niche and what things that you be, you know, you, you excel at, that's what I'm looking for. And for me, that's why I am how I am because we all have something to contribute if we want to contribute. You know what I'm saying? That makes perfect sense, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that makes perfect See, sense. And I if love you it. ain't yeah. got no talent, your, your listening might be your talent. See, mm -hmm. See like. See, like, and, and and like, I'm 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 a strong indie artist, and I just made that transition over where I understood that, like, I've I'm a national artist and an international artist. I just haven't been international yet. Like, when you're getting money internationally, but you haven't been there yet, then you get to you get, you get to take that label, you know. But like me, I'm beyond the humble dude. You know what I mean? Like, I understand the competitive nature that's necessary to be a strong MC. 
but I still focus on like what you're saying is like when I have other indie artists that like come to me and they're like, Hey, OG, like, you know, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I make the moves you made? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what your life is like. I don't know what you got on the line, you know? And I try to explain to them, like you said, not everybody's meant to try to, you know, there's, there's plenty of six figure jobs. And, and, and then if you just take it to the rap industry, not just the music industry, but there's plenty of jobs where you can live great. Plenty of jobs. Not everybody's meant to like put bars on a microphone and Yeah, it was a lot of people were, that was black, young, coming up out of college working in Def Jam. Men and women who are in the business right now working with Mona Me and, and Mona Scott on Love and Hip Hop and all them other shows that they got. Like I watch these people come up. Son had a lot of young college people working at that label, Russell. Most, and he had some white people, of course, but he had black as well, and it was a lot of young collegiate people. Okay, we, we got when everybody had those collegiate hoodies. We're gonna the, we're gonna end the, the, end the conversation in about fifteen names. minutes. We're gonna end the conversation about fifteen minutes. When Virginia Beach was really popping back when Rum Shaker came up. Yeah, yeah, so and those guys and girls were the ones that was running Def Jam, man. running it. And they still have yeah. positions now. Running, I was rhyming or making beats, but they was running that shit, a multi-million dollar comp company. So, fam, what you got like, coming up? Where, where can we see you next, dog? Like, what you, what, do you have any shows coming up, or you have any appearances coming up, Ooh. like? Do you, have any, do you have any meet and greets coming up? Anything, dog, where like we can really like come and like shake your hand or you know, I don't know if your people let, let people walk up on you like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm good. I give love, get love, you know what I'm saying? Um my next appearance is gonna be in Basel, Switzerland. So I'm trying to work out some new dates right here in the States. Where I can go up and down the uh, the I-95 Eastern Seaboard, do my thing. Come to your town. Come to Maryland. Come to D.C. Um, and definitely, uh, I, I suppose to be doing something with some people in Orlando uh, in the next few months. So yeah, I definitely will post them. You got my Sunny Caesar of Onyx Facebook fan page. Sunny Caesar of Onyx. Then you got Sunny Caesar. Sunny underscore Caesar at Insta uh, at uh, on, on, on Instagram, and then I have the new page because I had to do a lot of pages over, man. It's just got twisted. Yeah, I feel you, dog. Caesar so at Instagram. I want to Sunny Caesar Sunny, of Onyx on Facebook and at Mister Sunny S O N N Y S E E Z A on Twitter. At okay, Mr. can y'all can y'all can y'all hear me? Because I'm, and, I'm, and you can get all the information too. there. Plus, I have the website. I can hear you, Mr. Mitchell. S O N S E E Z A dot Dan Camp dot com. Tell Sonny I'm trying to talk. Can they hear me? And then, of course, you can check me. You can check me on iTunes. New video just dropped on the 14th Monday. It's called Everywhere. That's the name of the track. Um, we're working on the next video right now. Let's get ready to hit y'all. All video outlets. Everybody get ready. Sun C come with the second video right now. Check out the two dope boys premiere. Sunny Caesar everywhere. The video. We right here. Bridges, the new album, 2016. Onyx! And okay. Onyx, I love it. Okay, okay, hold on, Every, everybody, hold on one second. Okay, Sonny, I'm going to give you uh, the stage. I'm, I want to give you the stage. I want you to give your shout-outs to everybody. You want to give your shout-outs to right you. now. I you. What you say? To, uh, tell, uh, repeat that for me, Yogi, if you can, because I don't think you can hear me. I want him to give his shout-outs. Um, uh, Mr. Mitchell wants to give you the platform for the rest of the time to be able to give shout-outs to anybody that you want to give shout-outs to. Um, right. I, like, like if if I could blend something, I know Mr. Mitchell could hear me. I don't mean to step on toes, but I think it goes with that. Like to close it out, like any of the artists that you're working with that you want to give a shout out to, give them some light. You know, any of the organizations that you're working with, any of the labels that you're working with, 
you know, like we want to close it out with you just like giving us some dialogue on like, you know, what, you know, what you're working, what you're working on, who you're working with and where we can look for not just your music, but like you being who you are, like the people that you're touching and, uh, you know, give us the rundown, brother. Let us know what's going on with it. Indeed, indeed. We could do that right now. You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Hey, yo, I want to give a major, 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 major shout out to all my listeners and supporters around the world. Straight like that. New York City, BK, all the way to Southside, Queens. I give it up for my Southsideians. Rest in paradise to our fallen soldiers. I want to shout this one all the way out to Basel, Switzerland, Empire Music, Jake Beats, DJ Trey, my man, Big Matt over there, MD. Shout out to my family over here. Trubs, Direct, Loyal Unity, my family, my wife, Psalm. I love you, lady. Shout out to Empire Music again. Shout out to the whole Brooklyn again. Shout out to my man Yogi over there. Shout out to my man Tragic Mojo over there. Shout out to everybody in the I-95. Shout out to Charles for having me on the show. Shout out to the world, man. And Bridges, the brand new album. Shout out to El Mob. That's my brother. That's my uh, that's my mentor. He the one that showed me the way about this hip hop. Shout out to my brother Naj, my brother Lenny, my sister Tisha. Shout out to everybody over here on the Johnsons and the Johnson boys because they doing their thing. Shout out to my brother from another mother, Greg Valentine. Uh, did well. He just had a hospital stint from All City. He's doing his thing. He get much stronger. That's my guy. It's on the title, the title uh, album, title song album uh, of the album Bridges. Shout out to my man Digger. From the grave dig uh, from the flatliners, pardon me. Shout out to Red Rum. Shout out to my cousin Two from Lewis Avenue. Shout out to whole New York, man. Shout out to hip hop. Straight like that, man. You know what I mean? And shout out to WBOK radio, man, because we're gonna be okay. All right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> Check me out. I love it. Right? <laughs> I love it. All right, Sunday, man. I'll be inboxing you, man, and thank you, you very much. Okay, for word up. <laughs> And, so, uh, yo, I'm man, I appreciate you guys, man. I got to make a run right now, man. I got to get outside. But, yo, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for the time. Thanks for being cool, brothers. And, hey, hit me back. Uh, give me the email or something and give me my, everybody information okay. so we can chop it up. Okay. That's a bit. You know I'm saying? Sounds and then good. when I'm in your All town, right. we're going to tear it down. Appreciate okay, you. Yogi, tell him I said thanks, too. I don't think hey, he's here. Yeah, stay safe, man. Have a good Friday, man. A great good Friday, man. All right. Thank Peace. you. Thank you. Peace.